It's good. Oh yeah. That's just, oh my God. Mm. That's so nice. It's probably pork, right? Today, we are trying 90s kids party snacks. Let's deep dive into some nostalgia. <laughs> kids food, when we were growing up, Absolutely was lit. the bomb. You would have like bowling parties mm. and they'd bring out these like cute little party pies. I was all about the party bags because mm. the party just keeps on rolling after you go home. Like I'm just going to eat so much like I used to when I was a kid at those parties. I'm just going to like stuff myself until I feel sick. Party foods. Give it to me. Give it to me now. Party foods. Kids, party foods. Ooh. Yes! Bam. The OG best thing ever. An absolute classic. A staple Yeah. of like parties when I was six or seven. I'm such a fan of fairy bread that I actually do not turn up to a party without bringing some fairy bread. Really? That is my thing. If people are like, wow. people are like, bring a plate of something, I'm like, fairy bread. So easy, so cheap. If you try and make fairy bread on like sourdough or wholemeal, uh -uh. get out of here. Get out of town. Don't even talk to me. Controversial opinion. <sighs> I have never liked fairy bread. Even as a child, I did not get the hype. I mean, I get that it's pretty. I mean, that's fine. Bye. Should we cheers? Yeah, okay. <laughs> cheers. cheers. Mm-hmm. Party in my mouth. Like, it's fine. It's literally decorated sugar and butter on sugary bread. Mmm. Great amount of butter. Mmm, yeah. This is great. It's exactly how I remember it. Compliments to the chef. It looks more festive than it tastes. Mm. I think the key to fairy bread is a lot of butter and then you've kind of nailed it. I think yeah. I could just incorporate this back into my diet. It's uniquely Australian. I'll give it that. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. I've got multicolour movie time popcorn. I f hated this. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember being a fan either. <laughs> We've definitely evolved from this. Like, yeah, we've come a long way. We're now like on the popcorn with the salt and the butter, like mm -hmm. plain normal colour. It's like a hot guy with no substance. Like Ooh. it's not, you try it once and you're like, that was fine, but not every day. Oh no, my face. Okay, okay, I got this. The green one will be easy to say. Hey, there we go. It's sweeter than I remember it being. Just tastes sweet. Like <laughs> sweet. I'm just tasting sugar. Mmm, but I love it. Yum. I don't love it. What? Oh, oh. This is good popcorn. Oh, ah, oh. I want my popcorn salty. Mm. This is cute, but it's like brittle. It's like the sh that's at the bottom of a fish tank. This is practically a delicacy. So it's got layers. Mm -hmm. it? Like me. It's like that MySpace selfie that you were really embarrassed about <laughs> that was taken like from this angle and you're like, Raw. you know, it's like we don't talk about her anymore. She's forgotten, but she was cute. Yeah, I'm Thanks still here visiting. eating it. <gasps> oh! Yeah, yeah, I could yeah. smell it. I was smelling it. I was, I was like, smelling the tomato sauce. <laughs> My favorite. I absolutely love these. Go on, Kim. Put the footy franks in the microwave. Crack out some dippy dippies. We're celebrating. I used to love these as a child, but looking at it now, this looks absolutely feral. <laughs> this is feral. <laughs> this is not going in the edit, but it looks like a dog willy. <laughs> like. <laughs> I don't want to know what's in them. Mystery me. Like, it's definitely not okay. You still eat these? Absolutely, yeah. I could probably fit this all into my mouth now, but for a kid, it's like right on the like edge of whether you can fit it into your mouth at once. Yeah, 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 yeah. That awkward stage. Should yeah. I try and... Uh, you... You go... You do what you want to do in terms of like the bites. I'm not going to tell you how much to bite it. Okay, don't. <laughs> I didn't want to overdo it. <laughs> yeah. This is so romantic. <laughs> oh, God. Mm. Mm. It's good. Oh, yeah. That's just, oh, my God. Mm. 
That's so nice. It's probably pork, right? Let's get an ASMR uh, bite. <laughs> as mentally disgusting as this is, it tastes exactly the way I remember it tasting. Yeah. And five-year-old Katie is into this. I love you. Yes. Yeah. You can do it. Oh! I like that it bounced. <laughs> I used to be a reporter. No one forced you to do that. Like, you just did it. Do you know what I mean? Yep. Oh! oh. Nice. Oh my god. Yes. A work of art. I never ate these as a kid. Me neither. Oh my god, yes. It's frog in a pond. Look at it jiggle. I know, I know that. I'm loving it. Jiggle, jiggle. How do Just, you eat this? I don't, I don't know actually how you eat it. Here's what little kid me would do. Oh my god, wait. And eat this. Look at the colour of that. Oh. Is that meant to do that? Oh. That's like when you have your like hand in the water for too long. Too long. Oh. Amazing jelly. Not bad. Good, even. Mm. Flavorful. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't rate this combination very highly. It just doesn't seem logical to me. This is like the best of both worlds. I know what you're talking about. It, it actually goes really well together, the flavor. You know what it reminds me of? A splice ice cream. Wow, that's a big call and you should take it back. <laughs> What's a no for me? It's a yes for me. I just love jelly. Oh my god! Yes. Yum! Yes. yes. This is an absolute staple at any Aussie kid's birthday party. I would always go for this first mm -hmm. at the parties. Mm -hmm. My grandma used to make these, so this Mine is too. like a very, very like sentimental thing. And like you make it with Kofa. I looked up what it was the other day, and it's actually just like coconut oil, like hardened oh, coconut right. oil. Very so grandma was ahead of like the health food trend. Man, she was trendy. Let's go. Oh. Mm. It's better than mm. I remember. So good. My mum used to make these for me like all the time. Mm. And I really hate them. <laughs> it's light. It's a good texture. Refreshing. Mm. Simultaneously really airy and also dense. Oh. Like this is a meal. No, it's good, but I'm glad we don't like have these in supermarkets or like cafes now. Not a nah. fan. Happy to leave that one in the 90s. No offense. This it's is good. superior to everything we've tried so far. Mm. Oh, fairy bread though. We can't say that. Mm. Fairy bread's in its own league. It's mm -hmm. like a separate thing. This is timeless. Yes. This is so good. I rate this very highly. This one's for you, Grandma. Ooh, Ooh. okay. This is iconic. This is every birthday party I ever went to, ever had this. I'm, I'm dead. This is like the ultimate. Whoever had the ice cream cake at the party was like legend for the rest of the year. Popular kid. Neapolitan? Is that how you pronounce it? I'm, Neapolitan, I'm, yeah. Neapolitan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Neapolitano. You get three flavours, guys. You get chocolate, strawberry and vanilla. And sprinkles. Mm. Like, it's a bargain. Childhood birthday parties. Timeless. In, on a plate. Flawless. Get all three flavors. No, I've got one. I, I always have the flavors separate. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I do as well. It's sick. It holds mm. up. Mm. It's so good. It's like soft serve. Mm. It tastes like Christmas, you know? Wow. It also reminds me a lot of my grandma's house. Like the taste is the taste of going to visit grandma because she'd Aww. always have a tub of Peter's Neapolitan in her freezer. Yeah. Unless, you know, yours was like mine and ethnic and you get tricked sometimes and there'd be some like frozen pasta sauce or something in there. <laughs> it reminds me of like being at those parties, yeah. like running around, um, doing pasta parcel, yeah. and then like absolutely like gorging itself on this. I approve. Yum. Mm, I should stop. Mm -hmm. Take her away. That was a wild ride. Blast from the past. Mm. Yeah, these foods are pretty nostalgic. Like, they're very iconic of like our childhood. 
I am glad that some of them we've kind of moved past and onto like, you know, like nuts and fruit and vegetables and like more adulty kind of stuff. Like I would still eat so many of those things. Mm, I'm today. sad. I'm sad it's over already. Like, uh. I know. <laughs> I want more. I want more. Mum, can we save for 15 can more we? minutes? Give us more. It's mama. You cannot go past that Peter's ice cream cake. Mm. I think for me, that was the hands down best mem of my childhood. Do you reckon if and when you have kids that you would put that spread on? Not at all. <laughs> no. They will have rice crackers and nuts, <laughs> not salted. <laughs> Maybe some hummus. <laughs> they might be too health conscious these days to have these, but like, come on, they're kids. Let them run around and eat yeah. sugar and all that stuff. I yeah. think they're fine. The things that I really still like are like the ones with great texture. Great texture oh, transcends the ages. That's a quote for your yearbook. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I, for one, would love to sort of incorporate like jelly back into my diet mm -hmm. somehow. Mm -hmm. I was really hungry coming into this and I'm already full. Yeah, that happens with the taste test. You don't realise. Mm. Did you put coconut oil in this? So it's made with copa, which oh. is that weird grandma always used to make stuff with. And mm. I'm pretty sure it's just coconut oil. Mm. Mm, that makes sense because it solidifies. It's got air on it. <laughs> Do you want it? Do you want to finish it up? I was going to ask you to throw it again, but no, I think I'll pass on that one. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> RIP my career. <laughs> I used to be a reporter. Just like writing news articles <laughs> one minute, the next minute, throwing wings in the air. That's going to be a gift. <laughs> Someone's going to make it. Oh. <laughs>